Isang magandang araw muli sa ating lahat. Ako si Teacher Ray dito sa Mathinko Studio. At uh, tayo ay nasa quarter 4 na ng ating pag-aaral sa taon na to. Kaya naman, kung gusto mong matuto, maging alerto, maging talentado at laging anda, sabayan mo ako hanggang sa dulo ng ating talakayan. So ano pang inante natin? Para na at kumpisahan na natin ang ating pag-aaral. So, ang ating tatalakayin sa linggong ito ay volume of cube and rectangular prism. So, sa topic na to ay papag-aralan natin ang uh, visualize the volume of cube and rectangular prism. Find the volume of a given cube and rectangular prism using the cubic centimeter and the cubic meter. And solving problems involving volume of cube and rectangular prism. Okay, first, let us discuss cube. It has a three dimension. Gaya ng pinag-aralan natin sa nakaraan, meron siyang tatlong dimension. Ito yung length, width, or height. Or, pwede naman itong tawaging sides. Okay? So, this is an example of cube, which means volume is expressed in cubic units. So, ang volume ng isang cube ay sinusulat natin or in-express natin yan in cubic unit form, kagaya ng nasa screen natin. It is the unit for measuring volume. So, ito yung ginagamit natin para ma-measure natin yung volume ng isang cube, yung saan the number of cubic units needed to make or fill a solid figure is called the volume. So, itong maliit na cube na to, considered as one cubic, at kung ilan ang laman ng isang cube sa loob nito, yan ang volume na tinatawag. Kagaya nito, maglagay tayo ng mga one cubic cubes sa loob ng box na to. At kung ilan, ang kasyang maliliit na cube dyan sa loob ng box na yan, kung ilan yung bilang, yun ang volume ng ating box na itsuran nito ay cube. So, ayan po ang tinatawag nating volume of cube. Yan yung length, yan yung width, at yan yung height. Sabi ko nga, pwede silang tawaging side kasi pare-pareho ang sukat ng length, width, at height ng isang cube. So next is rectangular prism. It's a polyhedron with two congruent and parallel bases. It is also a cuboid. So nat natalakay na natin ito for the past lessons. So ito ang isang example ng rectangular prism. Kagaya ng cube, volume is expressed in cubic units. It is the unit for measuring volume. Then the number of cubic units needed to make or fill a solid figure is called the volume. And itong maliit na cube na to is one cubic unit also. So pareho lang din dun sa ating cube. So kung ilan, yung kasyang 1 cubic unit sa rectangular prism natin na box, yun din ang volume nito. So, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim. Ayan po yung first layer. Nindagdagan pa natin. Okay. So, ayan, napuno natin sa mga maliliit na cube. Kung ilan yung bilang ng laman ng uh, 1 cubic unit na yan, yun ang volume ng ating rectangular prism. Yan yung length nya. Ito yung width. At ito yung height. Okay? So, next. So, let us proceed to activity 1. Let us visualize cube para lalo natin maintindihan kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng volume of cube. So, ito yung cube na box. So, i-consider natin yan na box. Dagdagan natin. Dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim, pito, walo, siyam, sampo, 
labing isa, labing dalawa, labing tatlo, labing apat, labing lima, at labing anim. At ayan, ang ating first layer ng bilang nito ay meron siyang 16. So, magdagdag pa tayo. So, for the second layer, fill up natin uh, para mapuno ang ating uh, cube. At yung second layer natin ay meron din siyang 16 cubic unit. So, dagdagan pa natin for the third layer. So, kung ilan yung bilang ng first layer at ang second layer natin, yung din ang bilang ng ating third layer. So, meron din siyang 16 cubic unit. Then, for the last layer, dagdagan pa natin. Ayan, hanggang mapuno ang ating box na iturang cube. So, that is a fourth layer na meron din siyang 16 cubic unit. So, sa ating length, meron siyang 4 blocks. Sa ng mga 4 blocks na to, ito siya oh. So, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Okay? So, ayan po ang 4 blocks. Meron din siyang 4 blocks na height. Saan ito? Ito rin. So, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. And then, meron din siyang 4 blocks na width. Okay? Saan po yung block na yan? Ito rin siya. Ito o, oh, isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. Okay? So, ngayon, there are 4 layers of length at yun ang horizontal natin. 4 layers of height, that is also vertical, and we have width. And then, there are 16 small cubes in every layer. And there are 64 small cubes. So, kung bibilangin lahat natin yan, ay 64 small cubes, at yan ang tinatawag nating volume. Okay, so let us proceed to rectangular prism. So, ito ang ating rectangular prism. Dagdagan din natin. Okay? Lagyan natin ng maliliit na cubes. I-fill natin para malaman natin kung ilan ang volume nito. Okay? So, meron siyang 2 blocks deep. Meron din siyang 3 blocks length. At 2 blocks height. So, there are 2 layers of length. 2 layers of height. Ang width niya ay meron din siyang 2 layers. Okay? And then, there are 6 small cubes in every layer. Kung binilang ninyo kanina, sinundan niyo ako, 6 yung first layer. And then, all in all, there are 12 small cubes. Ibig sabihin, the volume of the rectangular prism is 12 cubic units. So now, let us now proceed to find the volume of a given cube and rectangular prism using the cubic centimeter and the cubic meter. So volume of a cube, side times side times sides. Since its sides of a square is the same, it can simply be it can simply be the length of one side's cube. So, sabi ko mga kanina, yung uh, length, width, and height, pwede siya maging sides sa cube kasi pare-pareho sila ng sukat. So, the, vol uh, the formula is volume is equal to S3, wherein V is the volume, then S is the side. So, subukan natin sagutin or alamin ang volume ng cube na to. Meron siyang 5 cm. Kung napapansin nyo, ang cube ay pwedeng isa lang yung may sukat. Kasi nga, pare-pareho o pantay-pantay ng ang mga sukat nito. Okay? So, using the formula volume is equal to side raised to the third power, it means ang side niya is 5 cm. So, volume is equal to 5 raised to the 3rd power or 5 third to the 3rd power. It means 5 times 5 
times 5. So, i-multiply natin yung 5 3 times. And then, the product is 125 cubic centimeter. Kasi 5 times 25 is equal to, uh, 5 times 5 is equal to 25, times 5 is equal to 125. So, the volume of our cube is 125 cubic centimeter. Okay, so volume of rectangular prism. So, multiply its three dimension, the length, the width, and the height. So, to find the volume of rectangular prism, just multiply the length times width times height, where in the V is the volume, L is the length, W is the width, and H is the height. And this is an example of our rectangular prism with a measure of 7 meters length, 2 meters width, and 4 meters height. Using the formula, Volume is equal to length times width times height. So, multiply natin yung tatlong dimension. So, 7 times 2 times 4. Then, 7 times 2 is equal to 14 times 4 is equal to 56 cubic meter. Okay? Okay, so let us now proceed to solve problems involving volume of cube and rectangular prism. Our problem number one, a swimming pool has a length of 12 meters, a width of 6 meters, and a height of 5 meters. How much water is needed to fill the swimming pool? So, let us analyze the problem. Let us answer the question what is asked in the problem. So, ang tinatanong ng problem natin is uh, the amount of water needed to fill the swimming pool. And then, what are the given facts? So, we have length of 12 meters, width of 6 meters, and a height of 5 meters. Now, let us proceed to operations or formula to use. Dahil ang hinahanap nito ay yung uh, kung ilang uh, water okay, na pwedeng ilagay sa swimming pool. So, we use multiplication because volume po yung nawawala. So, we are multiply length times width times height. And then, now, let us solve the problem. So, halimbawa, ito ang ating swimming pool na may sukat na 12 meters length, 6 meters width, and 5 meters height. So, using the formula, volume is equal to length times width times height is equal to 12 times 6 times 5. So, volume is equal to so, 12 times 6 is equal to 72 times 5. Then, the volume of our swimming pool is 360 cubic meters. So, ayan po yung sukat ng tubig na ilalagay sa swimming pool. So, problem number 2. A cube has a side measuring uh, 10 centimeter. What is its volume? So, ito ang ating cube. May sukat ng isang side na 10 cm. Using the formula, volume is equal to side 3. Then, let us multiply the measure of its sides 3 times. So, i-multiply natin yung tatlong beses. So, 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to 100 times 10 and then 1,000 cubic centimeter. So, the volume of our cube is 1,000 cubic centimeter. And then let us proceed to problem number 3. A box is 20 centimeter length, 20 centimeter height, and the volume is 4,000 cubic centimeter. Find the width of the box. So ngayon, uh, ang nawawala ay isang dimension kung saan ito yung width. Paano ba natin ito kukunin? So what are the given facts? So we have here 20 centimeter length, 20 centimeter height, 4,000 cubic centimeter volume. So, ang nawawala doon ay width. Para makuha natin yung sukat ng width nito, ito ang solution natin. Una, i-multiply natin yung length at saka height. So, 20 times 20 is equal to 400. Pangalawa, 
divide the volume by the product of the length and height to calculate the rectangular prism's width. So ngayon, i-divide naman natin ngayon yung 4,000 divided by 400 is equal to 10. So ngayon, ang sukat ng ating uh, uh, problem ay ang length nito is 20 cm, ang height is 20 cm, ang width niya ay 10 cm. And all in all, ang volume nito ay 4,000 cubic centimeter. So, kung ang nawawala naman dito ay length, ganun lang din ang proseso. Multiply mo yung height at saka width. And then, i-divide mo ngayon yung volume nito. Ganun din ang, uh, ganun din ang height kung nawawala siya. Multiply mo lang yung length at saka width. Okay? The same process lang siya. And then now, let us proceed to problem number 4. The volume of cube is 512 cubic meter. What is the measure of its side? So ngayon, cube, hahanapin natin yung sukat ng isang side nito. So, volume of the cube is 512 cubic meter. At alam natin, ang volume ng cube ay nanggaling sa side times side times side. Or, is equal to side 3. Okay? Para makuha natin yung sukat nito, gagamitin natin yung cube root of volume. So, ang formula na gagamitin natin dito ay side is equal to cube root of volume. Then, yung uh, volume natin is 512. So, side is equal to the cube root of 512. Ngayon, para mapadali, gumawa ako ng tinatawag natin cube root table para hindi tayo mahirapan. Ano nga ba itong cube root table na to? Ito siya, tingnan natin. Halimbawa dun sa 1, 3, or 1 raised to the third power, 1 times 1 times 1, okay, sa so tatlong beses yan is equal to 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang cube root ng 1 is 1. So, yung 2 naman, 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8, so ang cube root ng 8 is 2. Tapos, yung 3, 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 27. So, ang cube root ng 27 ay 3. So, ang cube root ng 64 ay 4. Ang cube root ng 125 ay 5. 216 ay 6. 343 ay 7. At 512 is 8. And 729 is 9. Dahil ang ating uh, volume ng ating cube is 512, so ang uh, side nito ay 8 meters. So ayun po ang um, sukat ng side ng ating vol uh, ng ating uh, cube na mayroong volume na 512 cubic meter. So the measure of the side of the cube is 8 meters. Okay? So mas maganda na meron tayong cube root table para hindi tayo mahirapan na pagkuha ng sukat ng side ng cube natin. Okay, so bago ako magpaalam sa ating topic na to, gusto ko lang i-shout out muli ang mga natitira pang mga mics na subscribers natin na palaging sumusuporta sa ating mga videos. Ito ay sina, Kent Justin Suyot, Kent Chu, and the GB Baguna, Murphy Kawai, para yung isang channel sa ulat, Mary Talia. Christy Jean Paharan, Alpha Shell Bukas, Christy Labendia, Zachary TV, Therese Marias, Judy Lezula, 